Hey everybody and welcome back to Marvel Champions Experience version 2.0 aka Expert Mode. Remember I would always appreciate if you consider liking the video and if you really like what you're seeing think about subscribing and as always please drop a message down in the comments below especially when I make a mistake. Thank you so much for keeping me honest especially in that last game with Miles when I fudged up on the environment with the surge. Not gonna happen today Rick. Not gonna happen today. There's environments in here and they get Surge. I will remember that. I don't think anybody has Villainous, though. But it could be wrong. Anywho, uh, yes, please like, subscribe, and drop a message down in the comments below. All right, today we are going Expert the Hood. I really don't like the Hood fight. I don't like the Hood fight. It actually has nothing to do with him. It's the setup. It's just annoying to grab so many encounter decks and have to put them back. And uh, Setup is annoying. But... Let's just get out of the way. Hopefully. Hopefully you won't have to do this again. So, I've already taken care of the hoods. I've Okay. So, right, we choose seven modular encounter sets. I grab the ones that came with the hood. And then I choose one at random, right? And then this uh, expert says choose one set aside at random. We've got Brothers Grimm and what was the other one I pulled? Streets of Mayhem. So, that's what we're starting with. All right. And, Yeah. I just want to get this fight over with, and I figured I'd go with Miles again because I had a lot of fun with Miles against... Who did I fight last time? I don't remember. Oh, Mo uh, what's his name? Magog. And Miles did really good, and I'm using the same exact deck. It's a leadership deck, so I don't know when I'll get a chance to play Miles again after this, at least... Don't bend the cards, Rick. Not for a while. Um, because I'm getting into the big bads, right? We're getting close. We're inching our way closer towards Venom Goblin, Loki, and Ronin. My three, in my opinion, most difficult villains in the game. So, yeah, those villains are reserved for the heroes that I love more than anything, which is Venom, um, Gwen, so those are going to be the, those two will be taking on the three main bads and most likely a Captain America stun lock deck will be taking on the Red Skull for thematics and Arm Zola for, Zola for thematics as well. But enough talk about the future. Let's talk about today and let's see if we can beat this guy. All right. Here we go. All right. Deck shuffled. Done. Run revealed. Done. Add to them. Those two are in. Okay. Uh, let's. Draw our cards first. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's just out of the way, so I don't have to think about that. Each player must resolve the hood's foul play ability in player order. Okay. Discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. Discard, discard. Deal the first card, discard. I haven't played this dude in over like a year and a half. I really don't remember. Deal the first card, discard this way that does not belong to the hood encounter set to yourself as a face down encounter card okay these are both good cards so we're okay for now and now we can look at our cards all right not the best starting hand right i can't play the spider-man Yep, I can't play the Spider-Man even with meditation. So let's just put out, hmm, let's think. Okay, let's, uh, let's get Web of Life, let's get the Web of Life and Destiny out just so it's not in our hand and we don't have to worry about it, right? Actually, no, I can't do this yet. I don't have a Web of Warrior Tree, so can't do that just yet. All right, so we're going to save this for a little bit. I'd say let's use Spider-Man to pay for the power within, but if we use Genki, we can draw a card. Maybe we'll get something different. So we'll use our energy to pay for Genki. Um, we'll exhaust him, and we'll draw a card. Okay, we got a Helicarrier. So now we can actually use our Meditation. So let's use our Meditation. for the Helicarrier. I think we can flip now. And we'll put out our Web of Life and Destiny because we're a Web Warrior now. 
Now we can use P to pay for the power within. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, why did I use P to pay for the power within instead of, instead of the helicarrier? Because I don't want this in my hand, right? Um, this is meant to be played with either uh, make the call or across the Spider-Verse. And I guess we're done. I guess we're done. Very uneventful hand, but we've got an okay setup going. All right, we're drawing five. One, two, three, four, five. And now, oh, shoot. Dumb me. This had no threat on it. All right. Now it's your turn. This is going to go to two. Oh, shoot, it's only got five on it. You're going to attack for one. And I've got the power within, and I'd like to use this. Oh, I can use this right away, actually. Like, I don't need to attack for this. Huh. Do I defend and then use this? No, let's not. It's very early in the game. So he's going to attack for one. I'm going to straight up take it, no defend. So you're attacking for one. Plus nothing. All right. So I take a damage. All right. Encounter card time. Wait, do I have anything? Let me see what I got. I don't think he has anything to... Damn, two web shots? That kind of sucks. All right. Let's see. What's going on? Encounter card. Uh, the hood attacks you. Resolve the hood's foul play. Lovely. <sighs> okay. All right. So let me keep this here. Number one, the hood attacks you. You're attacking for one. I'm not going to defend at this point still. I mean... What a waste of time. I didn't defend the first time, so. And I want to play the power within on the attack. All right. So I'll take it. One plus nothing. Now we're going to resolve the hood's foul play ability. Discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. Okay. If it is not a hood card, we get it as an encounter card. Hood card. Hood card. Okay. So we're getting lucky. And that's it. It's our turn now. All right. I'm thinking... I'm thinking to flip to Alter Ego. I'm thinking about resolving this Venom Blast and flipping to Alter Ego to take care... to take advantage of the Confuse. So that's what I think. I could also just stay here and take advantage of the stun. But, oh, then I can use Genki to draw an extra card. Yeah, actually, I think I will do that. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get Spider out, right? Because she's going to help us control the threat. She's going to attack for one right off the bat. So you're down to 15. Now, I will do something. We'll use Helicarrier and Jefferson Davis to pay for a web shot. And can we do that? No, we can't. Hmm. It won't do it because it's not a, I don't have an energy resource. Shoot, I wish I had the, I wish I had the, What's it called? What do I wish I had, guys? I wish I had my web shooter out. All right, so we're not gonna do that because I want, that's that's what this is important for. So we will, I guess, all right, I think I know what we're gonna do. We're just gonna attack for two. Or should we thwart for two? No, a spider will thwart in the next turn. We're going to attack for two. All right. No, you know what? Maybe we should thwart since that's going to go up to three on the next turn. Oh, he's going to scheme for two. All right, we're actually going to thwart for two. Uh, 
unless I can, this is going to confuse him. So he's actually not going to thwart that. I go up to three. Actually, no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was right. Um, so we'll attack for two. So you're at 13. And the reason why I thought that through is because he's actually not going to scheme because I want to, res res I'm going to resolve this now. After you hear use a basic power, we're going to discard this, resolve Venom Blast. And, oh wait, that resolves Venom Blast. I thought it was the confused one. Rut Row. I've changed my mind. I've changed my mind. I want to take that whole turn back. I thought I could, I, for, for some reason, I thought it was a spider camouflage. So I'm going to use Genki, actually, to draw a card. That means I didn't use this yet. I didn't use this yet because I was going to use it for the web shot. So I have this available. All right, Genki's going to help us draw a card. It's Gwen. So I need to discard a card now. And... Oh, shoot. Gwen is a wild resource. That changes things. Okay, so I'm going to discard Jefferson Davis. Now we're actually going to exhaust Helicarrier and spend Gwen because I still have Across the Spider-Verse and made the call on that deck. Now we're going to play web shot. So we're going to deal four damage to him. All right. One, two, three, four. Now we resolve the Venom Blast. Two damage. And we stun him. There's no point to use this because he's already stunned. So we will attack or thwart. Attack for two. And we're holding this and we're done. Cool. We're going to ready up. And we're drawing up to five. Two, three, four, and, and five. Interesting. I might be able to get Avengers Mansion out with this. It's possible. Three. Yeah. All right. I'm thinking too far ahead. All right. This is going to go up to three. You don't attack because you're stunned. Now here comes our encounter card. The villain attacks you. Okay. Um... What do I want to do? Take it. All right. Um, I'm not going to defend. He's attacking for one. So he's attacking for two. This was the encounter card, right? Right? Sorry. Thinking. He was stunned. This is the encounter card. He attacks for two. Got it. Yep. All right. We're back on track. So I'm down to five. I'm probably gonna have to heal soon. Um, maybe I can heal my next turn, depending on what happens here. All right. Or maybe I should just start defending. All right, here's what we're gonna do. We are going to thwart for two, bringing that to one. Spider comes back into my hand. I draw a card. Plan B. Um, I can't confuse him yet, so it's so unless this is zero, it's really risky to flip. So what should we do? Should we get an Avengers Mansion? Well, the first thing I think we should do is try to get this web shooter in. So let's use the Helicarrier to pay for the web shooter. So we got our web shooter in, right? Um, if I wanted to get Avengers Mansion in, I would use 
probably these three, right? And Avengers Mansion's a good card. So maybe we should do it. Maybe we should do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to use these three to pay for Avengers Mansion. All right, we have a mansion in now. Let's use Avengers Mansion to draw a card. Okay. Um, I think I want to flip. I want to flip to be able to draw a card. I think that's what I want to do. All right, we are going to thwart for two. Removing all the threat. And then we're going to resolve the Venom Blast. So that's two damage. Stunning him. And we're flipping. Um, now we are going to... We're going to use this in a minute, but not yet. Oh, we, I can think we, I guess we have to do it now. Okay, so we're going to put a card back. I'm going to put the web web shop back all right web shots back in the deck the deck is getting thin all right so that's there that's done now <clears throat> we'll exhaust ganky to draw a card after your hero. Okay, so we got the spider camouflage upgrade in. Um, what are we gonna do? Oh, I can't use this right now. Hmm. I think hate to say it, but I think we're done. I hate giving up cards. Like, I hate holding cards, but I think that's the move. I don't want to get rid of Spider. I want to draw Pete. This is going to let me camouflage. At least I can draw two cards in the next turn. So I think we're actually not going to do anything. All right. We're leaving as is. We're drawing two cards. Interesting. Okay. I have six, right? Okay. It is your turn. One. You're scheming for two. That's four. And this is done. That sucks. Choose one set aside modular encounter at random. Um, I have them all face down, so we're grabbing this one. Ransacked Armory. And it's getting shuffled in. Okay. Place one acceleration token on the main scheme. One acceleration token on the main scheme. Now, when revealed, each player must resolve the hood's foul playability in player order. For each player who was not dealt at least one face down a counter card. Okay, so. I think we're getting two right. Discard the top two cards in the encounter deck. All right, discard the top two cards in the encounter deck. That does not belong to the hood. That does not belong to the hood. All right, let's see what's going on now. Deal the first card discarded this way that does not belong to the hood as yourself. Okay, so it's this one, not this one. Okay, so we're getting this as a face down encounter card. And then this will be the second one we get. Okay, so the first one we're dealing with is this. Attach to the minion with the highest hit points. You can't get in Surge. All right. Attach to the hood. And what is this? If you cannot, attach to the villain. Okay, so the hood has a couple things now. He's got plus one, plus one. 
and now he also has after the attached enemy activates against you discard this card choose and discard one ally support or upgrade you control and do yourself one face down a counter card all right so we're going to try to keep this full stunned or in in a, a, a in a state that he cannot attack us <laughs> all right uh this has three on it so that kind of sucked but you know you gotta deal with it um why is this this should have nothing on it right now oh no it starts with two my bad okay and here we go draw a card draw a card two double lives it's interesting. Okay. So what are we going to do? So we're going to take this very slowly. As in like this web shot, I must hold on to to keep him stunned so that doesn't go off. Spider camouflage, I need to keep this available. So when I flip back to hero form, he is confused and doesn't that does not go off, right? Because that's after he activates. So, I think what we're going to do is this. We are going to, I think we're going to flip. We're going to heal for four, bringing us back to nine. Now, I could play this ready to rumble to ready myself, or I could be a little more versatile and use ready to rumble and maybe helicarrier to get Pete back into the game, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna flip right now, right? I'm gonna use the Helicarrier, ready to rumble across the Spider-Verse, we'll exhaust Web of Life and Destiny. I never do that, because once you have Web of Life, Life and Destiny out, it doesn't really matter. So we're grabbing Pete, and we're putting him into play. He's got three health. Okay. Now we have some other options here. Like this defense mechanism, which I'm actually really interested in using right now. So let's use, I would also like to get spider out. I guess I don't necessarily need her at this very second but it would be nice to get her out. So maybe we use, I think we're gonna use make the call to pay for the defense mechanism. And now we're going to attack for two. This readies us. Right. Now we're going to, I think attack for two again. We're gonna attack for two. He's down to one on his first form. Then we're gonna exhaust def defense mechanism and hit spider camouflage, right? And that is going to, we're getting a tough and so we're tough and he's confused. Okay. So we could use this double life and it might actually be the smart move. We could use the double life to flip back into alter ego right and the reason why i say it might be the smarter move is because then we can use ganky with no issues so maybe we do that and then we can put a card back into our deck so let's uh let's go ahead and do that the other option is using one double life and the web shooter to play spider and get her out which isn't a bad option either, but I want to try this. I don't normally, I don't think I would normally do something like this, but let's try it. So we're going to use the web shooter to pay for double life. We're going to change our form and ready our identity. 
which actually does nothing for us right now. So I think I'm changing my mind. Um, Because the only, now that I think about it, the only benefit we get from doing this is changing the form. We lose the readying our identity bonus, right? So I don't think I want to do that. So I'm going to do the first thing. We're going to use that and we're going to spend a double life to play spider and she's in attack for one which will flip him so maybe that wasn't the worst move all right we're going to choose one set aside modular and counter set uh they're all face down and i'm just going to grab this one which is state emergency okay so we did that Are we holding any cards? Yeah, we're holding two cards. I'm still thinking about that flipping. Should I have not flipped? I don't know. Okay. So, um, that was added to the deck. I think we're good. Nothing else needs to happen. I thought there was going to be, I have to resolve foul play, but I don't. I'm going to hold these. I'm going to hold on to these. Um, I think we're done. We're going to ready up. And I got a message. I can't really read it, but I'll check it later. I, I got a message. Somebody dropped a comment on a different video. So thank you. Thank you in advance. Um, we're done with our turn. Okay, sorry, I'm, there's a lot going on now. I'm just making sure that I got everything done. So I'm drawing up to five. All right, so we got two web shots back. We have a make the call, which is interesting. We could bring in Gwen. I'm looking through the discard pile. All right, but that'll be on our turn later. Oh, you get health, you're at 18. So many health, okay. Uh, this is going to go to four. I might have messed up one. I, I Maybe it should have went up by... I might have missed that. If I did, I'm sorry. Uh, you're not attacking because you're stunned. So that doesn't trigger. Okay. Here comes our encounter card. Uh, resolve. Resolve each one revealed ability on each side scheme. If no one revealed ability was resolved this way, place two threat on each scheme. Okay. So this is going to go to six. Yikes. We need to deal with that now. All right. But that wasn't the worst possible turn. All right. He's no longer stunned, but we can make him stunned. But he's confused, and we're going to take advantage of that. All right. First thing is we are going to remove the threat from here. We're making it to four. She jumps back into our hand. We draw a card. We got auto. This is an interesting card to have right now because we can draw an extra card with this web shooter. And I think that's actually exactly what I want to do. I think I'm going to forego the make the call. It's going to save some resources because Gwen is a three. So we will... First thing, we're going to grab a car with Avengers Mansion Meditation. Then we are going to use the web shooter and make the call to pay for auto. So auto comes in, and we're going to ready a, a, we're going to ready this upgrade, and it's a tech. So we draw a card. Nice. So we'll just refresh this, as in we're going to use this one ability to pay for the other web shooter. Okay, um, Otto will remove one threat from here. And now what we're gonna do, I think now we wanna bring in Spider again. Actually, we're gonna flip on this turn, right? So maybe, we use the meditation for spider. 
Is that an option? Uh, maybe not. We don't need to play this web shot. I mean, we could play the web shot just to get the stun on him and do some damage, right? That's an option. Uh, we're definitely going to use the web shoot for double life, right? Because we need that. We need that. That. Yeah, we're going to use. I think we're going to use meditation on spider on the flip. So here's what we're going to do. I think the first thing we need to do is attack first, right? Well, maybe remove some threat. Um, yeah, let's remove some threat just in case. So the we will we will thwart for two, bringing this to one. So that's under control for the most part. Now we're going to attack for two, which is going to ready Miles. Now we will play this web shot. Four damage. One, two, three, four. Resolves the Venom Blast. One, two. Stunning him. Okay. Now we're going to attack for two. Just looking at what we got. We're attacking for two. We are going to... This is interesting. So I haven't flipped this turn. So I could... I could use this to... I could use this one right here, right? To flip into my alter ego form. And ready myself, right? Then I could use meditation to bring out spider. And I could still flip back to this form. Because I haven't used my just regular natural flip yet. And I might do that. So let's see. We're going to use the web shooter to pay for double life. We're going to change form. And ready ourselves. Okay, now we get to put one card from our discard pile back into our deck. And I think we're going to go with... Spider Camouflage is good, but we want that damage. So I think I do want to throw that web shot back in. All right, so we got web shot back in. This gets so hard to shuffle this deck when it gets small. All right. So I did that, but I could flip back to hero form now because I haven't used his regular base ability to flip. And I think I might do that. So let's, would it matter? Uh, let's uh, exhaust Genki and draw a card. Wow, that's really funny. Okay. I have Helicarrier. So I don't even need to exhaust to get that meditation to kick in. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to exhaust Helicarrier. We're going to play meditation. We're not going to use meditation. We're just going to use it as a resource. Now we can bring in Spider. She'll attack for one. And since I haven't exhausted myself, I'm going to flip back. And I'm going to hit him for two. Oh, I didn't hit him for one. So here's the one from Spider. Here's the two from Miles. That was a good turn. And we're holding on to these two, which as long as everything is under control and we're okay, we should win the game on the next turn. So we're ready up. Whoops, you have one health left. And we're drawing up to five. So that's two, three, four, and five. Oh, I hadn't seen this in the whole game. Okay. All right, your turn. This goes to three. You don't attack because you're stunned. Nothing. Here comes our encounter card. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, okay, so we're going to flip to Alter Ego and exhaust Miles. 
so it's okay. All right, that's it. I think the game is essentially over. Uh, we're going to use Avengers Mansion. We're going to use Genki to draw two cards. And we're just going to be really annoying now. And uh, I don't, I don't, do we want to be cute or just want to, do you, I just want the video to be over. Let's be cute. Why not? What the hell? We have a little bit of time. We're finishing this early. All right. We're going to use Helicarry to pay for Ready to Rumble. Right. Um, we're going to flip. We're going to use Ready to Rumble to Ready Miles. Uh, Spider-Man will attack for two. No, 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 no. Miles will attack for two. Spider-Man will attack for two. That readies Miles. He's out. But we draw a card because of Web of Life and Destiny. Just because we're annoying, we're going to remove two threat. She comes back in our hand. We were going to draw another card for Web of Life and Destiny. And are you done with me being annoying? And just because we're just going to web shot him for four. And there it is. We did it. We have taken down Expert the Hood. And yeah, man, Miles. This, uh, he's crazy. He's crazy. You know, his ability to just control the enemy with confuse and stun and it's just pretty wild. And Genki's pretty good as long as you can keep that flip going. I didn't realize how, I don't often use Avengers Mansion because it's really expensive, but pairing this with Genki is gross. It's purely disgusting and I love it, you know? So yeah, like he wasn't able to take advantage of his pistol because he was stunned and confused all the time for the most part. He did not get a chance to use this at all, right? Because this only is after he activates and we kept him stunned and confused the second we got that out. So there we go. It's another one in the books. I think I might retire Miles for this rest of his expert playthrough, but maybe you'll see him one more time next week. If you don't see him next week, I'm moving on to somebody else. But maybe, maybe I've got one more go with him because I'm, I have to do expert Kang, but I think it's only right that Kang fights Ant-Man but maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. Hear me out. Maybe Kang has opened up all the timelines and one of those timelines, he finds Miles. Yeah, that's kind of cool. As long as it's thematic, I'm with it. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching. Take care.